What's going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a product from Binks. First off, shout out to the fine people over at Binks for sending this product over. For me to try it on the channel, I truly do appreciate it. So if you haven't heard of the company Binks, they sell a ton of accessories for the iPhone. They have a few accessories for the flagship Samsung devices, but mainly this is your iPhone spot for all the accessories you may want to get. Let's do this. Here we have the MagClap. So this is Bink's magnetic battery pack. Um, it's portable. And the best thing about this is you see the size is pretty small, but this contains a 5,000 milliamp per hour internal battery. Taking a look at the back, I noticed there is a rated capacity, which is 2,900 milliamp per hour versus that 5,000 I told you about earlier. What that number is, is the actual output capacity of the power bank and not the actual battery capacity, if that makes any sense. At the time of this recording, this battery pack will cost you $39.99 and the normal price is $43.99 on the Binks.com website. This battery pack comes in four different colors. This is the black one that we are looking at here, but it has black, dark blue, white, and light blue. So taking a closer look, obviously it's MagSafe, but it has a 75 five watt wireless charging and 12 watt wired charging. You have rounded edge for better grip experience and it just looks better with it rounded. Also forgot to mention the texture of this is soft. It feels soft, but grippy. You have Binks branding towards the bottom. And here on this side, you have a power button type C port and four little dots that I'm guessing are the LED lights. Nothing looks like there is on any of the other sides. So, that's everything that you're gonna need on this side of the power bank. And you see four little dots. Hopefully you can see it. Let's see what else we get inside of the box, which looks like just a little tiny little user manual and how to actually take care of the power bank. So if you wanna keep that, you can keep it. And it actually looks like you might wanna keep it because here on the other side is the warranty card. So you do have a warranty with this just in case something happens. And then lastly, Lifting this up reveals the short type C to type C charging cable to be able to charge your power bank. Here is the iPhone 14 Pro Max looking as good as it wants to look without a case. I wanna actually try this on without a case. So all you have to do, if you don't know, is just go ahead and align it with the MagSafe that you have on the phone. And it looks like it actually has some battery in there. And if you take a look, if I can get that cleared, it does actually look like it is charging. Notice when I attach it to the back of the device, it automatically quickly turns on. You get a green light and two white LED indicator lights. Now, as far as holding the device with the battery pack and the device itself, I don't feel like it adds a, an extreme amount of weight. It's not like uncomfortable. The softness of the battery pack actually makes it feel comfortable to hold. What I wanna do now is kinda try out the capabilities of this Binks power bank. What I'm doing now is obviously attaching it to the back of my iPhone 14 Pro Max. And as you see, it automatically turns on and starts charging the iPhone. Take notice that I'm about 50% battery on the iPhone and a full charge on the power bank. Now I'm a little bit curious as to know if this power bank can actually charge two devices at the same time, meaning I have the iPhone already charging with the MagSafe portion of the power bank. And as you see, it's still charging. And the next thing I wanted to do is use the type C cable and then plug it into my Red Magic 8 gaming smartphone. And as you see, it is charging the gaming phone. The Red Magic 8 Pro was actually pretty much charged. It's at 100% now, so it's fully charged and still connected to the power bank. Taking a look at the actual power bank, you notice before I plugged in the cable, there was that green LED and flashing. And as you take a look at the iPhone, it is not even charging the iPhone. So it can only really charge one device at a time, no matter if you're using the MagSafe portion of the power bank or the cable. 
Another test that I did try was to see if I could charge the power bank as well as the iPhone at the same time. And actually that does work. You can go ahead and charge up that power bank and the power bank will charge the iPhone. So those two things do work at the same time. Lastly, let's talk time. And when I say time, I mean the time that it took to charge my iPhone from 47% to 100. And I'm gonna say it was about an hour, if not a little bit more than that. And after an hour of charging the phone, the power bank was pretty much depleted. So I had to charge the power bank up again. All in all, this power bank is definitely a good accessory to have if you're in a pinch. As you see, it's not going to continuously charge all your devices from one charge, but it's definitely good to have. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.